Let's go again. Boat. This is um tomato with egg. You put a little bit sugar and a little bit tomato sauce and um a little bit salt, and you mix it with rice. I like to use red beans and other kinds of um you know like colorful rice to make a mixture. And sometimes I add a little bit powder, like like um, fresh sugar peanut powder. If you're allergic, you could add some like um, something sweet, you know, like black sugar powder or something like that. You like it a lot. Yeah. And the spoon should be like, you know, just a mouthful. The tallest mouthful, not my mouthful. Come on, then. Come on, now let's have a bite. Um, good job. Hmm. She gets bored when when we're eating, you know, because she's tied to a chair, but she likes to rock back and forth with it. So I actually did some work to uh, stabilize the chair. Because she was rocking back and forth like really hard. And I turned on Yakadi for her to learn or, yeah, to learn or at least listen to some something educational while she eats. And then, uh, yeah, I uh, also say the words with the TV, with the Yakadi. So at least she could hear um, the TV says it and then I say it. So. But she doesn't say anything yet. She's a slow talker. Right, Hannah, you're a slow talker. Can you talk? Can you talk? No? No? Do you want to talk? Sometimes I feel like she doesn't want to mess it up. Like she feels if she's not confident in doing it, like she can't do it good, she doesn't want to do it. She has that personality. Like if she feels like, um, I guess she has a big ego or something or like a yeah, she just doesn't want to mess it up. Like, if she feels like you could do it better, um, then she doesn't want to do it. So, I have to be aware of her self-ego, I guess. I know, isn't it funny? Like, I'm talking about ego and she's two. You gotta be the ego, huh? You're a small person, you're a small person with a small head, but your ego is so big, you can't even fit through the door. Is that right? You have to take the stairs because the elevator is too small for your ego. Oh, well, glad you like the cooking. I'm glad you like the cooking, Hannah. Let's have another bite. Um, yeah. I don't let her drink a lot of liquid before she eats, but um, you know, kids they do get thirsty, so I give them like a little bit of water, like maybe um, like 60 mill millimeter, and then um, she feels more comfortable eating. Which is my case. You know what? <clears throat> Tiny rock rocket. Tiny. You know what's tiny and what's big? You're tiny, I'm big. Boom. Look at that. Look at that, huh? The rocket's going. Rocket's going. You want some more? Let's have a little more, okay? Let's have some more. It's organic eggs and organic. Tomato or tomato? There you go. Let's have one more. Come on, you're ready for another bite. Come on, do it. Come on, do it. Come on, let's go. Let's do it, please. Good job. Oh, 
Cool kid. Banana rocket. Look at that. I use like water here in the back to stabilize the chair because she rocks it really hard. You gotta do the front and you gotta do the back. And this is the back here too. So it's a whole thing. I do classes here with her. Um, she really likes the board. And for a baby like like Hana, like she's so she likes to move around too much. So if you want to give her a class, you have to sit her down in a chair, and you can have your lesson. Otherwise, she will just run around. That's not work when you try to teach something and she's running around. Let's go again. Three. Red's trip. Trying, Hana, trying. <laughs> 